Jens Ritter Instruments was founded in 1996 and uh, I just did it hobby wise. I wasn't satisfied with all the instruments I played so I started to rebuild them to change electronics, change uh, pickups and stuff like that. I did a few instruments and I the first customer started to ask me if I can make them a bass. I started with basses. I built guitars since the beginning, but not officially. I started officially to release the first guitar, Princess Isabella Baritone, in uh, 2010, which was actually just a fun project, a one-time one project, but it was pretty successful. And there was a, a guitar player coming on my booth at NAMM Show 2012, uh, 2010. And he liked it a lot, and maybe you have heard his name, it's George Benson. And uh, he liked it so much, so we did a George Benson tribute uh, guitar. So the cool thing is that George Benson has a huge guitar collection, and the Princess Isabella is his only solid body guitar, actually. The Princess Isabella comes basically with an older body, a Svitania mahogany neck, and a Bavarian all, uh, maple fingerboard. And uh, yeah, this is the, the basic setup. So this year we have the Monroe. The recipe of the Monroe is like uh, you take an old rockabilly Bixby guitar and blend it with the Princess Isabella. Um, on the Monroe, we have the one I have here. It's a maple body, a one-piece flame maple body in the huge size, which is pretty rare. And um, we have a mahogany neck with a, a standard maple fingerboard. The orange one has a, a dirty maple fingerboard. The Monroe is absolutely a solid body. I think I will never make a uh, hollow body or semi-hollow body in my life. It's just not the style I'm interested in. We make around 60, 70 instruments per year, so we really do super custom stuff. So in theory, everything is possible. Yeah, we will definitely continue to make mainly basses. Um, the guitars actually started as a side project, as a fun project, but we have so much success with the instruments, uh, with the guitars, so we definitely will keep on making guitars for the next years. So if you want to find out more about my instruments, the best is you go online to ridder-instruments.com.